What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome, 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 to newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading. Perhaps we tell you everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Excuse me. Free general collective reading. Okay, so I've been up for a little bit, um, and I was sitting here meditating, and I received a channel message. I hope everybody is doing well. Real, real, real. Just saying, just saying, saying. It's a really great message. Just, it really is. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,590 subscribers right now. So, thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, there are many shocking series of chain events. Someone is about to be a very, very, very wealthy, uh, wealthy person. Um, I heard um, stolen money is about to be returned very, very soon for some. For some, it's a business that's about to take off, that's about to provide you lots of um, abundance. So, um, you plug it in, how it resonates. So, stolen money, um, for some, it's about to be returned. Um, for some, it's a business that's about to take off that's about to provide you lots of abundance. So, pinnacle energy here, abundance energy here, money energy here, um, which money doesn't lead to happiness, but it, I mean, it sure does help provide comfort, that's for sure. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come on. Confirmation from Fat Boy. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I mean, yeah. I mean, money definitely helps for sure. Um, it helps provide peace of mind. It helps provide, um, you know, financial stability, um, retirement, 401k, investments, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, depending on what, how you save and um invest your money, spend your money, etc., etc., etc. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, for many series of chain events, one of you guys about to be a very wealthy person. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Uh, whoever you are and how this resonates, whether you're about to get your stolen money back or your business is about to take off in a very positive way and it's about to make you rich. How that resonates. I love it, I love it, I love it. Just saying, just saying, saying. And one person is finally about to get the truth of the past. And one person is finally about to get the truth of the past. So you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. And one person is finally about to get the truth of the past. So whatever the truth of the past is and how that applies. Spirit messages you have for like this. Joy, retreat. Yeah, man, you can't make this crap up even if you wanted to. Joy and retreat. Joy and retreat is going to make you very, very happy. Um, some of you guys is about to get stolen money returned to you, and it sounds like it's a very, very, very large amount of stolen money is about to be returned to you. For some, it is um, um, a business, or for some, it could be businesses that's about to really, really take off. Um, that's um, going to um, provide you a lot of abundance. So, joy is a happiness. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. And retreat. Um, I think for some, you might take vacations. Um, or you might go in hermit mode and figure out what you're going to do with all this money. Plan and figure out what you're going to do with the money. Is exactly what I'm, I'm thinking here for some of you guys. Um, congrats to whoever this is for. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. I love this energy. Money, 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 money. And whoever this is for, you're not doing it in an illegal criminal way. Um, you are, it sounds like you're, I mean, for one, you're about to get stolen money returned to you. So obviously that's not an illegal criminal way. For one, um, you're, it sounds like a legal business here. So, you know, it's not criminal. So thank God for that. There are many series of chain of events. A uh, power couple type energy is about to come into connection. They are very, very, very powerful together. It's about to create positive series of chain of events. Will not be a couple when they come together. Possible power couple down the line. Okay, I heard through many series of chain of events that power couple type energy will come together. Um, will not be a power couple when they come together. But it sounds like they have the possibility to be a power couple. So you plug it in how it resonates in your own life. This could be you or somebody you're connected to. But some kind of power couple type energy. Whoever you are and have the supplies. Okay. So action, action of these two people about to come together. It could be two masculines, two fans, a masculine and fem. Um, action for these two to come together. Um, maybe they're going to um, collaborate together and um, do a business together is what I'm thinking for one of these situations. Hold on a second. I'm kind of hungry. Um, I'm going to go get a kind bar. Just saying. Hold on a second. So sorry. Okay, so yeah, so um, you plug it in how it resonates. That's really beautiful. It really, really is. I mean, um, it's, these two people are very strong separately. Whoever they, whoever they are, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, they're strong separately, but they have a potential to be a power couple together. Um, is exactly what it sounds like here. If they choose to turn it into a relationship, of course. I mean, everybody has free will. So if they choose just to collaborate together with, in a business, that's their free will. If they choose to um, uh, make it into a couple S type relationship down the line, that's their free will. I mean, only they know their story, not anybody else, um, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. So action energy here. Um, somebody's about to take action towards another person. I'll tell you that. Um, and I, I think it might be the same person that's about to learn the real truth from the past. One of these people, I think, might tell the other person the real truth of the past in some shape, form, or fashion. Number 22, or 38, or 17 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 22, 38, or 17 could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. 22, 38, 17, and 34, and 36. And 34 and 36. So 22, 38, 17, um, 34, 36. And 43 and 44 and 45. And 43 and 44 and 45. So 22, 38, 17, um, 34, 36. Um, um, 42, I'm at 43, 44, 45. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, that's beautiful. It really, really, really is. Hopefully, the truth will promote some healing. Um, just saying. But only you know you're destroying anybody else. Can you plug it in how it resonates? There really is love here. True love. 
one of these people is really, really realizing it now. One is about to realize it. Okay, I heard there really, really is true love here. One of these people has already realized it. One is about to realize it. I think it might be when they come into communication. Communication or 3D or... I don't know if they're going to communicate in message or text or or phone call or what have you, or if it's going to be in 3D. Um, only these people know their story, not anybody else. Uh, you have to plug yourself in where you resonate. If you do, are you the one about to communicate with one of these? Are you part of the power couple S-type energy is what I'm saying? Because we have a power couple S-type energy in here, a potential power couple type s energy. Um are you one of the ones about to communicate with the other half of the potential power couple S type energy? Are you one of the ones that realize that there's actually love there? And so it's like whoever you are, you differentiate it. You are have already or you're about to, to do differentiate true love from lust is what I'm thinking. For the one that's uh, either about already realized it's love and not lust or is about to realize it's love and not lust. The other half of this power couple S type energy they, I don't think they know that it's love or lust or whatever, because I think these two have been energetically separated for a long time. I think this person is the one that's about to learn the truth on the past. But this person's having a, a spiritual awakening is what I'm feeling here. And I think this person is the one that is about to take action towards the other person and tell them the truth on the past. This is exactly what I think. And I heard um, one of these people will learn it's love down the line so through series of chain of events so i think it's this person that's about to learn the real truth on the past i think they've been um kept in the dark in the past uh, for strategic reasons um on person people place situation etc 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 you plug it in how it resonates but these two definitely um have strong 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 potential here to be a potential power couple if they choose to make it so only uh, these people know their story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. The universe has really, 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 people in the universe has really, really, really been trying to keep these people apart. However, through a series of chain of events, the universe is about to make it happen. Oh. Her. People in the universe have been intentionally trying to keep these people apart, basically. But through many series of chain events, it's about to happen. They're about to communicate or interact in 3D or something. Whoever these people are and how they resonate. Um, but people in the universe have been intentionally trying to keep these people apart. So, karmic energies have been intentionally trying to keep these people apart. Whoever these people are and how they apply. Um, in one's life. So, there's about to be lots of action here. Lots of action. It's going to be happiness here and joy. And I think this person is going to be happy because they're about to learn the truth in the past. This person, I think this person brings, I think this person brings this person happiness. I think they bring them happiness and joy. I think they enjoy having this person in their life. And I think um, they know this. They've already woke up to it or they're about to wake up to it. Um, and yeah, I think this person in some situations, they might ask this person to go on a vacation with them or a retreat with them or a weekend thing or a day thing or what have you, possibly. Um only these people know their story, not anyone else. May Or maybe this person might ask this person to move away with them, possibly, if it's that serious. Or if this person is planning on moving like physical locations and this person is planning on moving physical locations. We've had a lot of physical location moving in here in the energetic space um, recently. So for some of these situations, it might be a vacation with the retreat or it might be this person's about to physically move. And they're about to see if this person wants to physically move with them. In some cases, um, that's what I'm feeling for some. And that could be the action 
physical moving or vacation or what have you energy. Um, you know, you have to do what's best for you. So in your situation and your child, child or children, if you have them. So if moving is the best option, um, then that's the best option. Um, if that's the, what is better for you and your situation, then, you know, why not? That's the way I look at it. Sometimes moving physical locations is the best thing. Uh, of course, I know it has a lot to do with money for a lot of people, but, you know, you have to do what makes your soul happy, what makes your heart happy, what makes you happy um, as an individual, as for your family, for yourself, um, for your business, for your life. And this person is realizing this person gives them joy, gives them happiness is what I'm feeling here. And I think that's why they're about to be honest with them about the past. Is exactly what I think. But um, only you know your story, not anybody else. Whether you're this person or this person or what have you. But I will tell you, we have joy in retreat with the inner, uh, overall energy and action. So I think you, person over here, if you apply with this situation, you are about to take action and communicate with this person. Or see them in the 3d or something um this is the possible power couple s type energy here but i think it's right in the universal space to make this happen it is definitely time it is definitely time is what i just heard okay and we have to, oh, angel of love reverse number 49 could be very significant number of one slide number 49 many negative energies were holding these people apart many for strategic reasons, but through many series of time events, it's about to happen. Okay, I heard many karmic energies for strategically holding these two apart, but through many series of time events, it's about to happen. Okay, so we have a lot of positivity in here. We have somebody's about to get their stolen money returned back to them. Congrats, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. We have somebody's business that is about to just blow up in a very positive way. Um, whether that's you or somebody you're connected to congratulations sir ma'am and we have a possible power couple energy in here which are these people that the karmic strategic karmic people in the universe have strategically been holding them apart but through many series of time events i think this person if you apply in this situation you have to plug yourself in where you fit is about to make it happen to communicate with this person i think this person has been left in the dark about person people place or situation I think this person has information on it and i think this person realizes they either are in love with this person or they have love for this person you can be in love with somebody and have love for somebody being in love with somebody is different than having love for somebody it's two completely different energies having love for somebody means you can care for them platonically you can care for them on a friend level you can care for them on a friendly platonic level and have love for them and care for them being in love with them is two completely different energies. Being in love with somebody is like twin flame as energy. Like you only want them, period, point blank. You don't want to cheat. You don't want to screw around on them. You don't want to hurt them. You want to protect them. You want to love them. You want to be with them, not in an obsessive, creepy way, but that's your person. Your person, person, it's like you're other half of your soul the other half of your being the other half it's like your other half of you so however you apply in this situation person over here whether you're in love with this person you realized you're in love with this person you're about to realize you're in love with this person or you just have love for this person and you're about to communicate with them how that resonates but you definitely are the one about to communicate with this person is what i'm feeling but the angel of love reverse here is the toxic community the toxic karmic energies that have been keeping all both of you people apart for such a long time loveless energies around you energetically to strategically keep you apart i feel for some of you guys you've actually had karmics with you strategically like in relationships strategically to keep you apart from each other it's what i'm feeling um, so this is the energy of the karmics in the actual community and universe knowing about you two and strategically keeping you apart. And then door to spirit.
Very high spiritual connection here and connections on other ways. A very significant air sign energy has cleared out of this situation. And through many series of chain of events, this is about to happen. Okay, wow. Heard a very significant um, spiritual connection here. So these two have a very strong spiritual connection. Very strong. Um, whoever you are and how you apply, sir or ma'am, you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit over here. Um, but there was, uh, y'all have a strong spiritual connection, whether it's um, platonic love, love, um, you know, friendly love, platonic love, etc., or twin flame S. You're my person, person, person. Never want to cheat on you. Never want to put you in a third party. Never want to harm you or hurt you. It's a protection energy, not a um, hurting energy. If that makes sense. Um, and for these two. So spiritual connection strong. And... Um, 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 there was a particular, I heard air sign energy that was strong, heavy. It sounds like in the middle of these two or intentionally keeping these two apart. But I heard that energy is clear. So now it sounds like it's free and clear for these two to communicate is what it sounds like. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them and Jupiter charts. Um it, for some, it could be one air sign energy that was holding these two apart. For some, it could be two plus. For some, it's a whole freaking toxic community of negative energies that was intentionally keeping these people apart. So I feel they do a love could be the negative air sign energies in the community. For some, for some, it could be a significant air sign or air signs that was keeping these two apart. However, that resonates and applies in one's life. But definitely a spiritual connection for sure, for sure, for sure, if that resonates in one's life. Let me see if I hear anything else. Many shocking series of time events will occur with this situation soon. Things are about to start moving very, very quickly on many ends. Okay. There are many shocking series of time events that are about to occur in many facets of this situation. I think with these two and with the stolen money issue and with the business about to just basically take off. Now, for some of you guys, it could be a business you've already manifested, you've already started, You've already started growing, etc. For some, it could be a brand new business or businesses. How that resonates. But I heard uh, many shocking series of shame events are about to occur with many of these situations and things are about to start moving fast. So I think the growing of the already manifested business or new newly startup business, the money about to be returned to a person that they should have. And I think the connection of these two. And something to do with negative air sign energy. Sorry. Whoever the negative air sign energy is. And I think the negative air sign energy is about to be cleared out. In some shape or fashion. You plug it in how it rotates. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. And I will say.